residents of the Cathedral of Learning were given physical examinations today. David Hall is live in Oakland with the story. David? Yes, good afternoon, Stacy. Conservationists are trying extremely hard to protect a bird that they feel is very important to the animal kingdom and the environment. If you look way up near the top of the Cathedral of Learning, you may catch an animal that's rarely seen, the peregrine falcon. Peregrine falcons are apex predators. They're at the top of the food chain. And their status, their conservation status, really tells us a lot about the status of the rest of the environment. If peregrine falcons are doing well, the rest of the environment is in okay shape. Since 2002, 29 peregrine falcon chicks have been hatched and banded at this building. Some even bred throughout our region. That's pretty significant when you consider that just a few decades ago, the species of falcon was listed as endangered under the United States Endangered Species Act. In 1999, they were taken off of this list. There were significant actions taken. DDT was eliminated from the environment. Uh, birds were released and persecution was stopped. Events like peregrine falcon banding are particularly important when you consider in Pennsylvania, these falcons continue to be listed on the endangered species list. Five more peregrine falcon chicks were banded and examined by a team of veterinarians, nurses, and Pennsylvania Gaming Commission workers who see this as an optimistic sign for the species. As soon as the numbers uh, get to a certain amount, we won't be banding anymore because then they won't be endangered or threatened anymore. And as far as these five are concerned... <laughs> yep, very, very healthy birds, very healthy. And to determine the gender of these chicks, all you have to do is weigh them. And females usually weigh more than the males. Now to watch live web video of these peregrine falcons, all you have to do is log on to our website, kdka.com. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm David Hall, KDKA TV News.